Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, saints of God. My name is Reverend Ernie Cooper, and I welcome you to today's devotion. My pastor's name is Dr. John Rocco Carlo. And if I was to name today's devotion, I would call it the academic question. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, but the other disciple with that same name said to Jesus, Lord, why are you going to reveal yourself only to us and not to the world at large? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come before your throne of grace, we look unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Our Father, I pray, Lord God, that you would make me your oracle to speak your word in this devotion, that the hearts of many may be encouraged, that, Lord God, they would not just desire mental knowledge or psychological knowledge, but they would desire the true, the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, so that they can come to know you more intimately and more personally. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And the scripture verse is taken from John 14, verse 22. When it comes to issues about faith, we are overwhelmed by many, many questions. Questions like, why does God allow natural disasters? Natural disasters as pestilence, plagues, earthquakes, flood, sickness, disease, and even death. Another question that may be asked is, do all religious worship the same God? Another one is, is any religion better than another? Many of the most difficult religious question doesn't seem to have a direct answer in the Bible. But Jesus is the answer to all questions. The disciples were often confused by the things Jesus said and the things Jesus taught them. Even so, some of us in this day and age are often confused by some of the things that we read in the Bible. But if we ask the Holy Spirit that dwells within us as Christians to give us the answer, he said he shall lead us into all truth and he will give you the answer you but only have to ask. The disciples were often confused by the things Jesus said and thought. During the last supper, while Jesus and his disciples were in the upper room, Judas asked Jesus this question that is written in the scripture verse that I just quoted. In, in the physical, it wouldn't make any sense at that time for Jesus to reveal himself to them only. That was the way Judas was thinking. That Jesus had re revealed himself to the inner circle of his followers. And it would make no sense to reveal himself to the world at that time. It would convict the world and make many people believe that but Jesus was not prepared to give a specific answer to this particular problem. The answers that were given would have been a superficial answer to their question. Because I do believe that if he had answered the question at that time or revealed himself to the world, as we see in many other places in the Bible, they did not believe. But we know as Christians, and after his resurrection, 
He have revealed himself as truly the son of God. If we search the scriptures, we will find all of the answers. The Bible does not give academic answers to academic questions. That doesn't inter, that doesn't intend people intensify. I'm sorry. That doesn't intensify people's faith because academic questions and academic answers only deals with the mind. It has little or nothing to do with the heart and Jesus deals with the heart. As I said before, the Bible does not give academic answers and to academic questions that doesn't intensify people's faith. Because faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. For our faith to be intensified, we cannot use our minds, we cannot analyze um, spiritual things. Spiritual things are to be taken by faith. But in fact, only the academic vanity will be increased rather than their faith. The answer was, don't worry about those intellectual and spectacular, spectative issues. Sorry. Don't worry about the intellectual and spectative issues. The Academic answers will only make it more physical and give them more desire for physical answers and to ask more physical questions rather than walk by faith in the spirit of the word of God. These answers, these answers were, don't worry about these intellectual and speculative issues but put your trust in God the reason I believe that Jesus did not give them a specific answer in the Bible is to some of the questions is so that man can can put his faith in God is your faith in God or is it in your intellect is your faith in God or is it in the physical that you see is your faith in God or is it in the scientific answers that you can acquire? And walk with Jesus by faith. We ought to walk with Jesus by faith. He will give us just enough truth to understand and enough light to walk in holiness, righteousness, justice, truth, integrity, and to walk by faith. Because the word of God says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. We do not want to walk in the impossibilities of not pleasing God. It says, let the rest, leave the rest to Jesus and the theologians. We ought to always walk by faith and not by sight. Jesus does this in faith and don't worry about those perplexing questions. What is Jesus saying? He is saying, and again I repeat, as followers of Jesus Christ, we ought to walk by faith and not by sight. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Followers of Jesus faithfully and simply has to obey his instruction. And his instruction is given in the word and the word is called the Bible. So if you desire to please God, don't worry about the academic questions, seeking for academic answers that will only bring Physical, pro physical solving of problem, but seek for spiritual answers in Jesus name to the glory of God. 
Walk by faith, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and not by sight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.